Welcome back to our community. Susie Thomas visiting with Denise Blakeney. She's a local uh, inventor uh, with Centillion Designs. LLC has come up with back-to-nature products with no harsh chemicals that honestly will clean about anything you need to clean. We're talking about tough, tough jobs that normally we have been accustomed to buying very dangerous things because we think that's the only way to get it done. But not so, you say. You also really um, put your money where your mouth is because you are making a special offer for people who will continue not to add to our trash or add to, add to landfills. That's correct. By how? How do we how do we do that? Yes, and yeah. I um, I am now um, decided to um, uh, take a dollar off of. Um, uh, if you make a purchase uh, on your next purchase, uh, you just return your your bottles and uh, one well each bottle, and uh, I will take a dollar off your next mm. purchase. Just refill them. Uh, I'm just going to use it for a refill. I clean them up and uh, yes, and reuse awesome. them. Awesome, awesome. Now that's funny. How do you clean up? A bottle that has cleaning solution. That's oh, I know. <laughs> well, the outside. <laughs> yes. Got it. Got it. Yes, that's true. The inside is sparkling, right? <laughs> All right. Now, you also are a Yale University writer. Yes. How did that happen? Yes. Um, I just, uh, I, I love writing. I've been doing that um, since um, 2006 mm -hmm. and uh, a little bit here and there before that. Um, I have, um, but I I just, uh, I was lucky enough, blessed, blessed is actually the word for it. I was blessed um, to be chosen to attend the Yale University Writers. Um, and um, That is amazing. You're talking about the Yale University that from the East Coast that we're all aware yes, of, yes? Yes, in New Haven, Connecticut. And, yes. And they select some people to be one of their writers groups, a, yes, a class of writers. Yes. What was that like, Denise? What was that experience oh, I was like? Um, yes, and it wasn't just me, but I got to listen to the other stories of the other students, and mm -hmm. and, and and we're following each other now. <laughs> so it's 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 fun. So from that came a book. Yes, and um, I have two. I'm actually uh, one I did finish though, mm -hmm. and um, and I'm working on another. Hopefully, it will be um, completed by next summer. Um, the one I did complete is. Um, a Walk with Puritans, Joseph and Theodosia Aileen. And uh, you can find it on Amazon, or you can find it on my website at deniseblakeney.com. Um, and tell me, does Yale University publish these then? Who, who, where no, did you? actually, I just published it. Uh-huh, okay. Mm -hmm. So A Walk with Puritans, Joseph and Theodosia Aileen. What interested you? First of all, tell us who these people are, and what interested you in their lives to do this book? Okay, um, well, Joseph Aileen and uh, Theodosia Aileen are ancestors of, of my families. Mm. Um, they're from England, uh, Taunton, Somerset, uh, from the 1600s. Um, during their time, um, it, was, um, it was a tough time um, around the English Civil War, and uh, uh, it was the, um, the change of the, um, the, the Christian... Um, Movement, the Church of England, and so forth. Yes, mm -hmm. and uh, Joseph Aileen, he uh, was a minister and a teacher. Um, he went to Oxford. Um, he studied um, uh, theology, and uh, and uh, he was um, very well uh, Greek and uh, Latin. Um, and uh, so they chose him um, to do a lot of their um, leading um, in this area, mm -hmm. um, and. Um, so um, he also wrote um, himself. He he wrote uh, his. He also has books out there still. You can actually purchase. Still, today. we can still find um, them. But I but I included these um, a lot of his material in within my book. Yes. So it's all in one place. There's um, got to be such a unique connection between first of all doing the research to find out who your ancestors are that's always fun and interesting yes. to find out that there was such strong faith and that tie from that all those years ago the 1600s yes. we're talking about to today and that his words still speak to us today and that you've got that ancestral connection with them yes. How, what is that like 
Yes, I know. I was amazed um, when I was reading his material and, um, and, and, and even to learn that there are people who are still following his books and, mm. and his, his words um, today. Uh, yes, you're right. Uh, it's been this many years, and wow, it's still continuing. So yes. um, that, that was my reason for this. I, I don't want it to just end, and, um, and, um, and I don't want anyone to have any trouble with um, having to locate his material in several different books. I kind of wanted to keep it in one place, so, um, so you'll see that. Pull um, it all together. Yes, he has his letters in there. He's got several letters um, that I had um, placed in this book, along with um, his books that he had written, um, and um, and those who followed him um, after that. Um, so, um, mm. just tell me a little bit about these people. What were they like? You must feel like you've gotten to know them after this experience of writing about them. Yes. Um, well. Um, Oliver Cromwell, uh, he was amazing. I'm, I'm sure you you know who he mm, is, and mm-hmm. um, and most people do from school. Um, yeah, um, it's uh, it, p- people like that uh, King Charles to learn more of the the kings back then about the religions and um, and Christianity and uh, and how um, the um, the ministers of these different churches they wanted to be able to present it to. Um, to the way that they wanted to present it, and um, it was difficult back then. It uh, was more, um, it, it was insisted to be as, in, presented in a sp- specific way, in a format. Mm-hmm. Um, so um, that was, I think, the, um, the reason for a lot of the the difficulty back then. Uh, he was in uh, jail. He was put in jail, placed in jail several times. For his faith? To, for, for his faith and preaching it mm. and his readings. Yes, and um, and um, yeah, and, and you know from history, um, yeah, many of the people who followed him and were with him during this had had left and come here to the United mm, States. Right, mm-hmm. and he stayed there. Yes, or- actually, he died at a young age, at uh, age thirty-five. Really? Yes, um, mm. and uh, but he's buried at a church that is still there. Um, For such a young man, he had mm-hmm. such a depth of spirit, depth of knowledge. Um, He really got it, didn't he, as far as God's hand on our lives and love for us. His words couldn't be more contemporary. Do you agree? Oh, yes, definitely. Um, this is one of the things he had said, um, he, and I added it to the book. Uh, Phraseology must differ from age to age and gifts from man to man, but principles must be present in any true presentation of the gospel. That, that is by Joseph A. Lane. And that, that is from words from him, mm-hmm. a, a man in his mid-30s. Yes. Amazing. Yes, well, yes. Very amazing. Ha, do your own children have they gotten a chance to read this? And what's their yes, reaction? Each knowing have a copy. Yes, yeah, they're thrilled. Uh, my dad is too, as well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, he. My dad follows um, our family and um, history, and uh, yeah, he was excited about this. A lot of people find out something unusual. You know, it's, it's very cool right now to. Um, look back into our family tree. I love genealogy. It's fun who you meet that way. But um, this is a real find. This is really a find. And I'm so happy you've pulled his writings together into a book, A Walk with Puritans, Joseph and Theodosia Aline, and by Denise Blakeney. You can get this on Amazon or go to, what is your website again, please? It's just uh, deniseblakeney.com. And very easy, B-L-A-K-N-E-Y, deniseblakeney.com. Now, you said you're working on another one. So is this yes. going to be a, a similar type book? Or uh, did you find somebody else in your family tree? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Um, but, uh, no, it's a fiction. Mm-hmm. It will be a fiction piece. Um, and it's um, for a younger reader. Uh, I do have a, a younger child. Uh, I have two adult children um, and grandchildren, actually. Mm-hmm. Um, but I also have a young adult, um, young uh, child, excuse me. Um, she's only 12. And so I think that's why <laughs> I, I... Writing one for her. Yes. Mm-hmm. So. What, uh, where did this come from? What sparked this interest in being able to leave something like these wonderful books behind? 
Oh, well, I, I, I love to read and, um, and I love to write. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I think it, um, it, yeah, it brings uh, people together. Um, it puts you in a different world when you're reading it. Um, it brings you together when you're reading it together, too, as a family. Um, my daughter and I, we, we read to each other, even at her 12 years old. Oh, uh, nice. Sometimes we'll read to each other. Um, yes, there's so many good things about it. Um, You've certainly got a gift. Um, you've got wonderful reviews. I don't want to embarrass you, but let's Thank talk you. about the, the response to this book, yes. A Walk with Puritans. Uh, some pretty amazing reviews, huh? Yes, yes. I'm excited about that. Um, they, yeah, they said that this is, um, th they, they love it. They, um, they said it's different. It's not like um, the other history books or, or pieces um, that they've read about something uh, in, the, in the past. Um, it, um, it's, it's a book that you can even have um, it keep in your library that you want to hold on to and, mm. and go back and, and you know, look through every so often because um, the information's all there. And um, I think when you're looking for quotes, yes, mm -hmm. um, some, so often we'll say, oh, I remember he said something so good. What was that? It's so wonderful to be able to have a resource mm -hmm. to go to, yes. be able to get that quote. Yes. Tell me about the camaraderie and encouragement of the Yale University writers. Okay, yes. Um, they, they, were, they separated us in a couple um, different groups, <laughs> mm -hmm. um, depending on what our genre was. Um, and uh, my group would, um, was more fitting to my, um, to, to my area. Um, and uh, they, um, I don't know, they just were an awesome group. Um, we Did you get to, to read each other's material, read yes, each other's work? Yes, critiqued each other's mm -hmm. um, work, yes, definitely. And, um, and it was all good. <laughs> I mean, it was all good, even though it, it was negative mm -hmm. um, to us. Um, it mm -hmm. was all good because it, it helped us to um, to better our work. Did you go out there to Yale to yes. do this, or was most yes, of this online? To. Oh yeah, I, I I actually stayed there at a dorm. Mm. Uh -huh. You can see a, a few of my pictures if you go to my website. Okay. I did post some pictures there. It's a beautiful place. Um, yeah, and I had my window open, and I could hear the the chimes of the bells of the church bells and mm. and things. It, it's just it was beautiful. Yes, I and loved it. friendships built with the other writers. Yes. Do you think you'll continue to oh, stay definitely. in touch? And oh, definitely. Yes, it was a lot of fun. We do communicate with each other still. Yes. Tell me about your daughter. Does she have the same interest in writing? Does she like to tell stories and make she up stories? She does. She does. Um, she she pretends like she doesn't, but she does <laughs> <laughs> because uh, I've seen her write and I've um, and I've actually read her material. So. Um, yeah, she might be a writer. Very, very cool. <laughs> well, we hear about Renaissance men. Rarely, I've never heard the term a Renaissance woman before, but I think I have met one today. Oh, thank Someone you. who, um, a writer and an inventor. And I just think that Aww. is so cool, Denise. I so that. Very you. fun to have you here. Again, we want to remind everybody you can get her book, A Walk with Puritans, Joseph and Theodosia. Boy, I love that name. Yeah, I do. Eileen. And uh, by Denise Blakeney, go to deniseblakeney.com yes. for that one. And then uh, Centillion Design LLC for completely safe, yes, hazardous to no one, all natural cleaning products. Yes. You'll find that on your website there. Denise yes. Blakeney, thank you so much for all you thank do in you, our community. Cynthia. I appreciate uh, you having us me here. Thank you.